So if you're a person and you're planning your own funeral, my advice to you is to think really carefully about what matters most to you in the world, your values, your people, your favorite people. Think about that before you think about anything else because that is your story and that is likely to be what you're wanting to, to tell. And all the people that you leave behind, you get control of your own narrative, which is what they say nowadays. You get to tell your own story in your own words. The best bit of advice I can give to somebody who wants to start planning their funeral or even their dying journey would be to look at your choices and to actually know that you have choices. We all have so many more options than we realise. There are so many more resources available to us than we even know. And when we start to explore that, we realise that we do get options, choices and autonomy when it comes to our death and our funeral. So the best bit of advice I can give is to, as much as you might not want to, do the research, talk to people, find out what's around. When you're looking at planning your funeral and your wishes, I. Uh... I think there's no time better than now to start, really. Um, I think it's making sure that you're talking openly with your friends, your loved ones and your family, because I think unless your wishes are written down and, and even discussed openly, how do you make sure that that, that happens when you're, when you're dying or maybe when you, you don't have the capacity or the, um, the cognition to, to put your plans and your wishes in place. So I think even starting at the dinner table with your family about what matters most to you can be really, really supportive.